Okay, so you're probably wondering why is the Koenigsegg CC8S and the Lamborghini Aventador J not available to purchase in the auto show uh, as it is in the DLC for Fortune Island? Well, fear not, it's just not purchasable. You have to win them uh, and they are both won via the treasure hunt. Now, we're going to start with the Koenigsegg CC8S, which is won via the fifth treasure hunt, which basically wants you to get three stars on the Lady of the Lake speed trap using an Audi R8. Now, you can use either or, obviously there's two of them, I opted for the 2013 V10 option, but it's entirely down to yourselves. It's very easy to get three stars. You only have to hit 150 mile an hour, decent enough run up, and you'll have completed the first part of the treasure hunt. And obviously that's the riddle. So now that leaves you with the second part, which is a little picture, and it shows you where the treasure box is from the picture, and it gives you a rough location. Obviously I'm gonna show you where it actually is. So it's just there to the right of those mountains on the map. It's not that hard at all. Um, and when you smash this treasure box, uh, pot you'll obviously win 1 million credits and the Koenigsegg CC8S which is a very very cool car uh, and you'll get an achievement with it as well for getting five treasure chests now tomorrow I will be releasing a guide on all 10 treasure hunts to help you guys out um, some of them are a little trickier than others but all in all they're fairly easy and of course you can win 10 million credits and I think it's four cars from them uh, obviously I'm sure you know the Lamborghini Urus the Koenigsegg CC8S the Saline S5 Raptor and the Lamborghini Aventador J. Uh, talking of which, we're gonna move on to that one now. So the Lamborghini Aventador J, you win that by completing the 10th treasure hunt. So the final one, uh, which wants you to do a danger sign in a classic muscle car. And obviously I'll show you which danger sign it is. It's the one up by the lighthouse, but I'll show you on the map in a sec. Uh, but first of all, you wanna pick a muscle car. Now it has to be classic muscle, but it can be anyone you want. It really doesn't matter. Just pick a classic muscle car. I went for the Dodge uh, Dart Hemi Superstock, but you can pick, like I said, whichever. All-wheel drive will make it a life a bit easier for you as it is an off-road uh, danger sign, but all in all, it doesn't matter. Now, I'm not sure if you need to get three stars or not, but I did anyway, just for good measure. Um, and to be honest, it was actually quite an easy one to do if you've tuned your, your muscle car up. Uh, and of course, get three stars there, and that's the first part of the riddle solved. Uh, and now moving on to the second part, which is the location. Now, obviously, this being the tenth one, turn ten wanted to make it a little bit tricky for us. Um, and in essence, it's set on a little island, as I will show you in a second, and you have to do a jump. Now, it's not a jump from a danger sign. Uh, as I'm showing you here, it's just a jump off a ledge sort of thing. So you want to be hitting about 130, 125 mile an hour off this jump, as you can see here, to get onto the little island there where the actual treasure box is. Now, it took me a couple of attempts, as you can see there, flop that one. Um, but if you do it in a fast enough car, it will be fairly easy for you guys. Uh, and of course, with this, you will win the Lamborghini Aventador J, which is a fairly cool car, I'll be honest. Um, looks a bit peculiar, uh, you know, it's not the best looking car in the world. Nevertheless, it is a very cool one. Uh, so, of course, you win your million credits and the Lamborghini and a nice 30 gamer score achievement there, which not many people have. Um, but yeah, like I said, I will be releasing a full detailed guide um, onto how you can solve every one of the treasure hunts, all 10 of them in Forza Horizon 4's Fortune Island. That will be coming out tomorrow, which is Saturday. I uh, hope you guys will be looking forward to that one if you do need a little help on it. Uh, obviously, I'm here to help you guys out as much as I possibly can. But anyway, a massive, massive thank you for everyone's support. You really don't know how much it means to me. Um, it really does mean the world, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, a massive thank you. If you do want to see more helpful content for Forza Horizon 4 and Fortune Island DLC, then please do subscribe. And if this helped you out, drop a like as well. But a massive thank you, guys, and all the best.